What's going on? What's good, my good people out there? So, yeah, we're going to talk some more about Crawford and Spence. Because people are giving Terrence Crawford so much flack for fighting David Avenesia. Now, you got the Spence supporters coming on my channel talking about y'all is okay. Are y'all okay with him fighting the Avenesia? I guess you ain't seen my videos yet. I guess you ain't seen me very upset with Bud fighting David Avenesia, right? But what the fuck else is the man supposed to do if they if they playing games with him, bro? He got to fight, bro. He got a fucking family to feed. He got to stay busy. See, I wanted him to just not get a bag and then still be rusty. That's what I think y'all want. So when he go into the Spence fight, if they fight, Spence can look good against him. I think that, that's the whole thing. That's why y'all mad that he take it on the fight. Y'all not mad that he fight the Amnesia. Y'all just mad he fight it. Keep it all the way above. Because, I mean, real shit. If you mad at him for fighting Avenesia, you should be mad at, uh, at Errol for potentially going to fight Stan Yonis. We don't even know if that's going to happen. He should be fighting Keith Thurman or, or Boots, right? That's how I see it. Or, or, or Virgil Ortiz, right? But you can't be mad at Bud for taking on a fight when <sighs> these dudes just giving him the running around. He got to do what he got to do, bro. He got to do what he got to do. So, here's the problem, though. Y'all want to keep flaming Terrence Crawford for that, right? Let's revisit Mikey Garcia. Let's let's revisit that real quick. <sighs> Little old Mikey pulled him up from 140 pounds. It wasn't nobody else for Errol to fight. Why couldn't he fight somebody else that was already at the division? Why do you have to fight Mikey Garcia? Mikey Garcia says, oh, I, I saw something. Yeah, right. He saw a bag. That's all it was. He was going to get his ass whooped. Everybody knew it. But y'all mad at him for fighting Amnesia. But y'all didn't care when, when Errol fought Mikey Garcia. Little itty bitty Mikey Garcia. Why is that? So your boy, your boy get a pass for everything, bro. He get a pass for everything. But you'll flame Bud for the same stuff if he did it. Right? But why could he knock out Mikey, though? That's a question that nobody seems to understand. There's nobody answering this question. Why couldn't he knock out Mikey Garcia, bro? What was wrong? What was the problem with knocking out Mikey Garcia? Why couldn't he do it? I mean, little old Mikey, he said he was going to try to knock him out, right? He said he was going to knock him out. In 800 feet, at um, the traffic circle, take the second exit and stay on old Rixieville Road. Yeah, I believe that's what he said. He said, I will, I'll knock him out. I'm going to try to knock him out or I'm going to knock him out. One of those things he said, right? <laughs> Why did he knock him out? What happened? Now, Errol was this dude that said he punches mega hard. He got all this power. Couldn't get Mikey out of there. Why not? See, there are two reasons why. Either A, Errol's power is overhyped, or B, Mikey Garcia just that tough. Now, to Mikey's credit, I've never seen Nike, I've never seen Mikey really hurt, bro. So he must have a super iron chin. Because everyone was hitting him with everything, bro. With the, with the kitchen sink, everything. Never really seen Mikey wobble, though. But still, he's a little Mikey, bro. He's, he's not a welterweight. He was able to absorb all them punches from Arrow Spence, bro. Shit, hell, even Ugas was absorbing that shit, man. He would have kept going. See, Errol, he has power. In 600 feet at the traffic not, circle, take saying, the third exit onto I'm, North Main Street. I'm not saying Errol don't have power. But he don't have this crazy power where he just stopping everybody with two or three punches. And that's that's not Errol Spence, man. He did do that to old Campo, though. Right? So, if we're going to keep getting mad at Bud for taking the Avenesian fight, we're going to always revisit the fact that Errol Spence couldn't knock out Mikey Garcia after he said he was going to. And 
why did he pull up a, 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 a junior welterweight? Where he got all these dudes up there that's ready for smoke at 147. Back when he fought Mikey Garcia. It was a lot of fighters that was already ranked. How the hell he skipped past them? How the hell did Mikey Garcia manage to get past all of them? Those dudes was ranked, bro. And he skipped all the way past them. Mikey wasn't even a champion, bro. He wasn't no champ, was he? Did he have a belt at 140 before he moved up? Exit the traffic circle onto North Main Street. I don't remember. I got to go back Continue and Continue on North Main Street for three quarters of a mile. But I want y'all to please enlighten me on how that was possible. When you got all these dudes at 147 with the smoke. And he jumps. They get He get to skip past all these dudes right to Errol Spence. What did he do to deserve a fight with Errol Spence? At least Avedesian is there. He's already at 147, bro. He's already there. He put in work at the division. Mikey ain't never fought there to skip right to an Errol Spence, a chip. Oh, man, come on, bro. Make it make sense, man. So I know the Errol lovers gonna come over here. They're gonna say, well, you know, uh, he, he just wanted to show that he could box. And listen, bro. I gotta go back and watch some interviews before that fight. Because if Errol was saying that beforehand, he also, he did say he was gonna knock him out. But if he did say something about trying, he going to show a new side of his skill, that was just a, probably a built-in excuse because he knew he probably wasn't going to be able to knock him out. Just my thing. Don't say you're going to knock out somebody. You ain't, you, you ain't going to do it, bro. You ain't got it. You ain't, you ain't going to get the knockout, feet, son. Turn right onto King Street. I hate when boxers say that. You know, a lot of them. Not just Errol Spence. I hate that shit. Just, just fight, bro. You ain't Deontay Wilder. You ain't Mike Tyson, bro. Just, just stop. Take the next anyway, right onto King Street. Then your destination will be on the right. Just my take. You know, every time I this this fucking Google bitch always fucking video bombing my shit, man. God damn. Let me gag this broad. But anyway, let me know what y'all think about this, man. This your boy Rapper Life Boxing. Catch y'all the next one. Your destination is on the right. And I'm out.